Hey, listeners. Thanks for joining us for your daily Bible verse. We hope you enjoy this deeper look at one of your favorite or maybe not so well-known Bible verses. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and verses by topic, we'd love for you to visit us on BibleStudyTools.com. When the Lord Calls, He Equips, written by Jennifer Waddle, read by Laura Hopkins. Today's Bible verse is Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 through 11. Then Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be your mouth, and teach you what you shall say. When God called Moses to approach Pharaoh and insist that he set the nation of Israel free from slavery, Moses was full of arguments. His questions were, Who am I? What shall I say? What if they do not believe me? But Moses wasn't the only one who doubted God's call. Many who were chosen to do hard things questioned the Lord, argued with him, and even ran away. Gideon doubted God's call to deliver Israel from the Midianites, insisting he was the least of the least. According to Judges chapter 6, verses 14 through 15, Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So he said to him, O my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Jonah ran from God when he was commanded to warn Nineveh of impending judgment. According to Jonah chapter 1, verse 3, But Jonah arose to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Jeremiah argued with God's direction, stating he was only a youth and could not speak to the rebellious nation of Israel. According to Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. Most of us are happy to step up to the plate when the task is easy. But when the Lord draws us out of our comfort zone and into the unknown, that is when we wrestle with his assignment. We may not feel worthy of God's call, but nevertheless, he makes us complete in every good work that aligns with his will and equips us with whatever is needed to carry out His divine purpose. According to Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 to 21, Now may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do His will, working in you what is well-pleasing in His sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom Be glory forever and ever. Amen. Moses argued with the Lord to the point of provoking him to anger. In the end, Moses' brother Aaron ended up being God's mouthpiece. How might it have been different if Moses had yielded to God and trusted that he would equip him to speak? We too might doubt God's abilities, but by his Spirit, we will be given exactly what we need at the exact time we need it according to Luke chapter 12, verses 11 through 12. Now when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Just as the Lord assured Gideon, Jonah, and Jeremiah, he assures us that he will put the words in our mouths and the tools in our hands to accomplish the work. He has begun in us.
Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.